Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking: Bill Clinton has just been outed. Bill Clinton rape survivor Juanita Broderick has just posted a tweet on the 40-year anniversary of her rape by former President Bill Clinton and outlined the timeline of the rape. The tweet is devastating to read and her experience clearly still haunts her to this day. And Broderick continued in a series of tweets. Shame on those trying to politicize this horrible event in my life. Rape is rape regardless of the perpetrator. As reported by RedState.com. Juanita Broderick has long been a vocal critic of the way former President Bill Clinton treats women. She proved to be a thorn in Hillary Clinton's side during the scandal-plagued Democratic nominee's failed 2016 White House bid. Broderick has been rather vocal out about her claims that Bill Clinton raped her. She even has a book about it titled, You'd Better Put Some Ice on That. Many Democrats and members of the mainstream media have ignored or ridiculed Broderick for decades, but she will not be silenced. This morning, Broderick dialed it up a notch by tweeting a timeline of the brutal rape she said happened 40 years ago today. 1. On April 24, 1978 around 6 p.m. Norma Rogers, my nursing director and I left Van Buren and drove to Little Rick for a nursing seminar. We checked into the Camelot Hotel. 2. On April 25, 1978 at approximately 8 a.m., I called Bill Clinton's campaign office. I was given another no. To call. He answered. 3. I told him I had brought the information we had discussed three weeks prior when he visited my nursing home on campaign tour. I asked if we could come to his office on our lunch break at noon. 4. Bill Clinton replied he would not be in his office that day. And said he could come to the Camelot shortly and meet me. He said he would call when he got to the coffee shop. 5. I told Norma the plan. She went on to the seminar to sign us in. I told her I would be there as soon as I left the coffee shop. I waited for the call. 6. In a short time the phone rang. Bill Clinton said he was at coffee shop but it was very crowded, and then said, Can we have coffee and discuss this in your room? I was nervous, but he was the Attorney General. I agreed and ordered coffee. 7. After the coffee arrived, there was a knock on the door. I opened it and there stood Bill Clinton in sunglasses. I ushered him to the table and poured the coffee and began to talk about info I had brought. 8. He motioned for me to come to his side of the table and was pointing out the window. I walked to where he was to look. He said it was an 1800 jailhouse he wanted to restore when he became governor. 9. As he pointed to it, he put his arm around my shoulder and I backed away. He then grabbed me and started kissing me. I was so startled and shocked. I told him no. 10. When I realized he was not taking no for an answer I began to scream, that is when he began to bite my upper lip every time I screamed. Then he shoved me backwards onto the bed. 11. After 40 years, I am still very emotional and tearing remembering what followed. It was a forcible brutal rape. 12. Afterwards, I was sitting up on the side of the bed crying. He simply straightened himself, and very cold and casually, walked to the door, put on his sunglasses and said to me, motioning to my swollen and bleeding lip. 13. When I did not show up for the seminar. Norma became worried and returned to our room looking for me. It was less than an hour after the rape. 14. I was lying on the bed still confused and in a state of shock when she knocked on the door. I had locked it after he left. I opened the door when I saw it was Norma. When she saw me and I saw the look on her face, I began to cry all over again. 15. I told Norma everything. She got ice for my mouth and helped me change my torn clothing. She asked me what I wanted to do. I replied I just wanted to go home. She packed our belongings and drove us back to Van Buren. As Bill Clinton begins his new book tour this month, I want everyone to know, Bill Clinton, 42nd President of the U.S., is a rapist. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.